Oh, hey, Beamer. And hello, fans. And I thought we'd give you another look inside the Buckeye Show headquarters here, the office. Beanie's yet to come in, but I got a lot of questions about my silly and random sports apparel. It's been talked about many times in the crosstalk with Common Man and Company and T-Bone. and We've talked about it on our show because I've been to a few different places. And I've got the little rule book about you know what I'll allow myself to wear. If I travel to a city, like if I go to Seattle, I went to Seattle recently, I'll pick up a Mariner's hat at the ballpark. And I've worn that one quite a bit. You know, it's a nice mid-90s Ken Griffey, Randy Johnson, Edgar Martinez, you know, royal blue with the gold S. I, I like the hat. It's a good hat, so I'll wear it. If it's not a, divi a major rival of one of my childhood favorite teams, or if it's not a division member, I will purchase a shirt or a hat and wear it, if I like the logos and stuff. So I just thought I'd bring in an example of some of the random sports items that I have, clothing items. And maybe if I work myself up to it, I'll tape something in my actual walk-in closet at home. But that's, 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 that's a big maybe. That's I don't know if you personal, want me to... Personal space. I don't know if you want me to come to your house and film you like that. Oh, I'd, I'd enjoy it. <laughs> I would. So let me start off with this, this old bad boy right here. Go ahead and throw this one on. It's Champion brand, so you know it's good. God, do you? Uh, there was a day when Champion, I think, was the apparel provider of the NBA. I used to remember going to a Champion outlet store in Potomac Mills Mall in Virginia, and they would have a big bin out front of Champion jerseys, like the mesh jerseys with the holes in them. I remember having a Bobby Hurley Kings. I remember having a Chris Webber Warriors. I remember finding like random ones where there would be no numbers on the front but numbers on the back or numbers on the front and nothing on the back like weird but this is some silly little shooting shirt and yes that is the Utah Jazz I did live in Utah for a couple of years there's nothing else to cheer for out there that's great and that shirt is great it's got it's got like a jazz logo on the back right there and tramp stamp this, yeah, exactly. This is really nothing that you can go out in public wearing, so it just kind of <laughs> sits in the closet. Like, who the, who the hell's going to wear this? You can't get away with wearing this. Uh, on the Utah front... Double Utah. Double Utah brought in another one. A little satin Utah basketball running Utes jersey. Some of my Utah stuff came in handy for rooting against Jim Harbaugh in Michigan in the first game of the year this season. I think we had a picture of me wearing a Utah shirt that day. Number 31, you can look him up. There was a dude named Britton Johnson. I'm sure you've never heard of him unless you really, really paid attention to national college hoops. He was a good player. Post Keith Van Horn, would have been like early 2000s. Decent player, but I don't know what the hell ever came from him. He was like a six foot seven dude. And again, I maybe wore this just playing pickup ball. You cannot, you have to wear like plain shorts with it. Remember there was this dude in college who would wear like an entire Steve Francis Rockets uniform, and that's just, I mean, Beamer, right? You can't. No, I, I you would. You can't do that. Wear like game shorts and a oh, game yeah. jersey. You gotta do. You gotta go with the shorts. No. You gotta do the whole thing. No. Oh yeah. No, that's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Why not? Why not just do it all? If you're gonna he do it, you may as well do it. Heavy right. on the basketball right here. Another one. Care to take a guess as to who that is? It's just like Ohio State. They pick the they pick the numbers of the productive players and put them in the bookstore. Ben McLemore. No. Before that, early two thousands. No. I graduated there in 06. It is a. He's still doing it in the NBA. He's still doing it. Wears some slick goggles. He's a glasses guy. Mari Stoudemire. Kirk. Not Mari Stoudemire. Kirk Heinrich. Oh. Old number ten. Love that guy. Fierce player. He once gave me a tip. You work at Muirfield. I always held a job at a golf course. Yes. I worked at the one in uh, Lawrence, Kansas, and I remember getting a nice $20 tip from a Kirk Heinrich nice. for cleaning his clubs when we went to play at Alvamar. That's always the best. Yeah, he was my favorite player. Him and uh, Nick Collison, both Iowa guys, came in the same year, stayed all four years, and they were like good. They were good as freshmen and then stayed for four years. So they, were a, they were a great pair. And let's see. This one I did not even purchase, even though the Bullets were my team growing up in the Northern Virginia area, and then, of course, became the Wizards. Still liked them as the Wiz, because that switch happened 
I don't know when, late 90s, around the turn of the century, something like that. But the authentic Jordan Wizards jersey actually belonged to my roommate in college. For him, this was a totally random sports item, so go figure. It actually made sense for me. He just gave it to me. Like when we when we were graduating, when we left, he said, here, take this. Fine. That's, a, that's a pretty cool one to have. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the old Wizards Jordan. So his two years there, you know, he kind of ruined the franchise when he was part of the front office. So you can always remember it. And by the way, like these basketball jerseys, you, you can't wear them. Like what adult can wear a basketball jersey? And you got to have like a T-shirt on under it, and that's just no. You can never, you can't do it. If you're gonna wear a T-shirt under look. it, you're not. You just may as well not even wear it. You can't wear a T-shirt under a basketball jersey, and you can't just walk around wearing a jersey all like guns out. You so know what I'm a big fan of? Wear one. The T-shirt jersey. I couldn't even bring myself to wear one at a game. It's like when you're at a high school, you can't wear like a basketball jersey as a fashion item anymore. So they just sit in the closet. And this one, it's the old. Uh, I spent some time in Kansas City. You guys might know. And roommate gave me the pertinent Dante Hall, Chiefs punt and kick returner. So the old last name, it's not a personal, I hate the thought of personalized jerseys. <laughs> I would never do that. But this is Dante Hall's shirt, so it kind of works both ways. How many games did he return a kick in? Oh, it was like probably, four or five probably straight, got right? double digits yeah. for his career, for sure, right? Yeah, and there might have been a, a streak where he had three or four in a row. So that's just, what is that, a little five right there? Why don't we... Uh, just some random sports Bonus stuff. coverage. We've got uh, more hanging on the uh, closet right here. What are you talking about? Why don't you... Oh, leave? oh yeah, that's, that's right. I'm sorry. I just uh, had a couple items that... These have been here for months and months and months. Been here Pork, since I started Pork here. Pork Chop, the old producer of Common Man. Oh. Common Man show mailed these up. Because he found him in a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx when he moved to Tampa. This turned out to work because this guy just got traded to the Redskins, and I think he's their leading tackler this year, Deshaun <laughs> Goldson. So the cream sickle, that's not bad. Tito has one as well, our fantasy football show host, the guy who hosts the show with me. And his is of Doug Martin. So Doug's been a great fantasy guy, just as a joke. Sometimes we'll just throw him on for a fantasy <laughs> show. You can't see him, but sometimes we're wearing Tampa Bay Buccaneers jerseys. And the infamous Blackhawks jersey. I didn't wear it to a Blue Jackets event. It was something that was next to the arena, and I admit it was stupid, even though I was just simply trying to wear a jersey to do a little center ice competition to see if I could make some pucks. It was a few years ago. It was very dumb, and it was the only hockey jersey that I had, and they, they didn't have a Jackets one there. And I said, is it okay if I wear this? And they're like, it's fine. Just wear it. And there was no Jackets player or member of the team there. I wouldn't have done Thankfully. it. Thankfully. But it was still stupid. And I've taken a lot of crap for that. But yeah. there you go. A couple other things. And this is because the reason for it. Value City, Chicago area, like Maryville, Indiana. Tons of family. My parents are both from Indiana. So that's where that came from. You find an authentic hockey jersey for You've $20. You've got to snag it. got to get it. You just, you, you don't look back. Hockey sweater. You buy it. Yeah. I never really had a hockey team growing up, so... There it is. Yeah. I'm going to take this thing off. All right. 